So this is question seven from the 2019 AQA Core Maths Paper 2A. And it's all about the normal distribution. So we get told that we have got a mean of 31,000 and a standard deviation of 7,000. And the first question says, based on this model, what is the mean annual salary of an electrical technician in the UK? Um, and it's only worth a mark. And as we know, the mean and the median are the same for a normal distribution. So the answer is going to be 31,000. The mean and the median will be the same if data is normally distributed. I thought I would just take this chance to do a little sketch of the data using the information we've been given. So we know, don't we, that the mean or the median is 31 and that's going to go in the middle. 31,000, I know. I won't write the zeros. And standard deviation is 7. So just a bit of a reminder that we could show if we wanted to that if we add 7 onto 31,000 we get 38,000. If we subtract we get 24,000 and we know that within here we've got 68% of our data because that's what happens when data is normally distributed. And then we could add on another standard deviation either side. So we've got 45 and we have got 17. And we know that within 17,000 and 45,000 that we have got 95% of our data. So that's within two standard deviations. And then with the third one, if we add another standard deviation on either side, we'll end up with 52 here, we will end up with 10 here. And we know that between 10,000 and 52,000 contains 99.7% of our data. So that is just a little reminder and we will use this um, picture, this image in the next question. So this is part B. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Um, so we are choosing an electrical technician at random and we want to work out the probability that his or her annual salary is more than 39,000. So if we're to sketch it on our graph here, 39,000 about here somewhere, and we're looking for the probability that it is greater than 39,000, so this side of the graph. Now to use our statistical tables, Instead of having a normal distribution with a mean of 31,000 and a standard deviation of 7,000, we want to get it into this format here where we have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And to do that, we need to standardize it. And so we use this formula here to do that. So this x is 39,000. This is the value that we're trying to work it out for. Mu is the mean, so in this case 31,000, and on the bottom we have got the standard deviation. So let's plug those numbers in. So the x is 39,000, the standard deviation is 31, sorry, the mean is 31,000, this one here, and then on the bottom we've got the standard deviation, which we remember is 7,000. So we've got the number we're trying to work out for, 39,000. The mean is 31,000. And on the bottom, the standard deviation is 7,000. And we stick all of that in a calculator. And we get something like 1.142 dot, 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 dot. And we'll look at that on the next slide. So by standardizing, we ended up with Oh, let me get a pen. 1.142, which we can round to 1.14. So now we can use our um, statistical tables to work out the probability of this shaded area, the probability that um, the data we're looking for is less than, um, we're looking for in here on one point. One four. So we will go and find 1.14 in our table. So I'll find 1 on this side and then 0 
nope, sorry, I'll find 1.1 on this side and then 4 on this one um, to make, give us 1.14 and we get, if I can mark this on here, it's a little small, we get 0 0.87286. Um, so this will give us the probability of this side of the graph as it shows here. So the chance of it being less than 39,000 is 0 0.87. But the question says, can we work out the probability that the salary is more than 39,000? We need this side of the graph. So to do that, we know the sum underneath, the total probability is 1. So we can do 1 take away 0 0.87. 87 and that will give us 0 0.13 so the probability the person we pick has an annual salary of more than 39,000 is 0 0.13 so in this part of the question we're asked to work out the probability that the salary is less than 26,000 pounds so if I was to sketch it on here, we'd be looking for this part of the graph. Um, but because we want to use the, the statistical tables to work it out, we are going to have to standardise it first. So we'll use this formula again. So the value we're working out is 26,000, the value we're using. The mean is still 31,000. And the standard deviation is still 7,000. So if we put all that in a calculator, we get negative 0.71 to two decimal places. Now, on our statistical table, we don't have negative numbers. We just have the positive numbers. So if we were to imagine this on our bell curve, what we're looking for is everything to the left of this line. Um, so because of the symmetry of the normal distribution, you can see that everything to the left of this line is the same as the part, everything to the right of this line. So what we can actually do is work out the probability using positive 0.71, which will give us everything to the left of this line, all of this. But then if we subtract it from one, it will give us the part to the right of this line, this part here, which we know is the same as this part. Basically, if you've got a negative number, use the positive version and subtract it from 1. So let's look for 0 0.71 on here. You've got 0.7 on the left, 0 0.01 there. And hopefully you can just about see that we've got 0.76115. So that is the probability that it's less here. So we're going to subtract it from 1. 1 take away. 0.76115 and that gives us the answer 0.238 or 0 0.24 to two decimal places. So the probability that the salary is less than 26,000 is 0 0.24. So for this part of the question we are asked to work out the probability that the salary is in between 26,000 and 39,000. We've already done the tricky bits here because in the previous parts of the question, we worked out the probability that the salary was greater than 39,000 and we got 0 0.13. And in the, the previous bit, just before this, we've worked out the probability the salary was less than 26 and that is 0 0.24. So we just have to be careful <clears throat> to make sure we've got our less thans and greater thans the right way round. So to work out the probability that we're between 26,000 and 39,000, we want to use the probability that we are less than 39,000 and take away the probability that we're less than 26,000. So we want to find all to the left of this red line and take away this little bit to the left of this red line. Um, and that will give us what's left in the middle. So we know the probability we're greater than 39,000 is this side. 
So to get the probability we're less than 39,000, it's going to be 1 take away 0 0.13, because we know the sum is 1. So that gives us 0 0.87. So now we know the probability that the salary is less than 39,000 is 0 0.87. We know the probability that the salary is less than 26,000 is 0 0.24 because we've already worked that out. So now we work, this will give us the area of this whole left of this line, take away the area left of this line and it will give us what's left in the middle. So 0 0.87 take away 0 0.24 gives us 0 0.63. So the probability that the salary is in between 26,000 and 39,000 is 0.63, or 63%, if you'd rather think of it that way. So, final part of the question. Uh, and this time we're going to use table 2 from the statistical tables because we're given a percentage, um, we're looking at a percentage of the data. Um, so we're already given the probability, we look at um, that 10%... Of the we're looking for ten percent of the most highly paid. So, if we're looking for ten percent, the highest ten percent, that's this bit here. That means that everything to the left of it is going to be up to ninety percent. And we're looking for the minimum annual salary. Sorry, of the ten percent most highly paid. So it's the lowest part of that ten percent, which is also the highest part of the ninety percent. So because it's ninety percent. We'll go and look in our table for 0 0.9, because that is 90% um, as a decimal value. And I don't know if you can see, it's very small, but I have highlighted it. And it is 1.2816. But that is using the standardised normal distribution. So what we need to do now is transfer that back to what it would be using our data. So we use that same formula that we've been using. This is the value that we're trying to work out this time. We were given this previously. We're going to take away the mean again, just like we were doing before, and divide by the standard deviation, same old. Um, and this time we're trying to work out this value here, the value on the line that 10% of people get paid more than and 90% of people get paid less than. So we've just got to rearrange our equation a little bit. So first thing I'll do is multiply both sides by 7,000 to give 1.2816 equal to x minus 31,000. And then I'll add 31,000 onto both sides. So x will end up being 7,000 times 1.2816. And then I'll add the 31,000 onto both sides. Um, and that gives me an answer of 39, no, 39,000. I'm going to run out of room. 39,960 pounds. Um, but they are they say give your answer to the nearest thousand. So £39,960 to the nearest thousand is £40,000. And that is the answer they're looking for.